Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you use the Moza software, so that's the Moza cockpit software and beyond ETC traffic, you may have noticed that you have been getting a lot of stutters within Flight Sim. Well, that is because the Moza cockpit software and beyond ETC traffic uses something called Sim Connect to gather information, to gather data. So it's always sending and receiving this information back and forth, which is putting a strain on the entire Sim Connect software and well there are other pieces of software that does use sim connect moby flight for example air manager sim brief itself uh, access nose etc all use sim connect but they don't ping it as much as beyond etc traffic or the moza cockpit software and that is because with the moza software it's gathering all the telemetry so all the force feedback right and with beyond etc traffic every time a plane's moving any sort of communication needs to be sent via SIM Connect, and that is putting a strain on the computer, okay, in the SIM. Well, after going through and trying to figure out what was going on, I believe I found a fix. And now there is an easy way to make this all work, and instead of doing it every single time, but this does indeed work. So I do recommend trying this for the first few flights if you want to see if it works if it does work cool great uh, then you can research how to make it permanent i used regedit to make it happen uh, and it is very simple to do but it's up to you to kind of figure that part is out as i don't want to put a regedit file on the internet for people to blame me then of the computer starting on fire or windows crashing and etc right okay so what is the fix it, it is super simple it is super super simple so the first thing you want to do is launch up beyond atc as you see here, I'm in the flight phase. So get yourself your SIM brief profile, get in the SIM, get it going so that there is traffic all around. Okay. Once you have that set, you're going to launch up task manager. Okay. So you can do uh, the start menu, type in task, and eventually you'll see task manager or, you know, control alt, delete, and you'll see task manager that way. However you like to do it. Once you have that set, you're going to type up here and type in SIM. You're going to see a bunch of things pop up. The one we're looking for is called Sim Connect WS. Sim Connect WS. And this is the software, or sorry, this is the piece of software that Beyond ATC uses. So this is primarily focused on Beyond ATC, this, this uh, let's say, hack or fix to make it all work, right? And what we're going to be doing here is a one temporary thing. This isn't going to change it every single time. Again, so if you want to make this happen, you have to do this every single time you launch up Beyond ATC. Okay, so right click on it and click on go to details. Once you're here in the go to details section, you're going to see it's running. It's going to give you your username, etc. All we have to do is right click on it, go to set priority and select high. By default, it is normal, but because of my reg edit, it automatically will set it to high for me. What you want to do is set it to high. And from there on, the stutters that's being caused by SIM connect beyond ETC traffic, Moza cockpit will be primarily gone. Now you may still have stutters here and there, and that is all dependent on the amount of traffic that beyond ATC, of course, is injecting into the SIM. Those you cannot get rid of, unfortunately. <laughs> That's just part of the deal. But as you see in this following video, this was from a live stream. The issue is definitely the Moza cockpit software. But you need the Moza software for the feedback, right? It's the Moza software. Look at this. This is exactly this performance I always get. Super smooth. Whoa, boy. Uh, you need to have the Moza running. If you don't, the rumbles, I have it disabled for starting for start during boot. That's concerning. That is concerning. Um, OK, let's test it. Let's turn it back on. Let's turn it back on. All right, the Moza software's back on. It's running again. And there it is. The stutter's back. Oh, hold on. Yep. It's back. Hold on. Okay, so P2, you're saying you need to have the Moza running if you don't, the rumbles, etc. If you don't, oh, if you don't need the rumble. I have it disabled for boot. You need the Moza software running for the stick to work. I only use it to switch presets and then turn it back off. No, I mean you don't need it. You don't need it for the rumbles? But you only need it for the rumbles, right? 
So if you want the vibration, if you want the force feedback, you have to use the software. It's this, yeah, it's the, it's the Moza. It is indeed the Moza software. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> P2 says, wow. Okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. I, I get it. I get it because uh, it's, it's using Sim Connect for my understanding. So I get it. I get it why. But that, that one form, that one thread was talking about how they've opened up the Sim Connect. And I know you can do that. But they said it didn't work. It didn't do anything for them. Again, I, I understand where the issue is. I just don't know how to rectify it, though. So that's it. That is all you have to do to get this to work. And again, there are ways to make it work in the reg edit where it permanently does it. But I would recommend for the first several flights you do, do it by the task manager to verify it's doing what it's supposed to do. And I can confirm this 100% works because I also use a tool called Auto FPS. And with Auto FPS, when I was using it at normal, so in the task manager, it was set to normal and using the Moza software along with Beyond ETC traffic, the uh, terrain detail would drop down to single digits at times in the red. Tell me it could not keep up with the SIM. And that's because it's struggling, because it's connecting via SIM Connect, it's struggling to keep the performance steady. So anytime there's a stutter, it's dropping the uh, LOD. I have now done over a dozen flights with this hack, or almost I should say a dozen flights with this hack, and it has not gone down under what it's set in auto FPS. So right now it's set in 25 because we're on the ground. It's at 25 and I've been able to fly at, you know, 200 LOD. No problem. Again, it's all going to be dependent on your system. This, you know, auto FPS, of course, that's all going to be dependent on your system. My specs are a 14700 K with 64 gigs of Ram and a 58. So it's a very high end system. So this trick may not work for everyone. But it does work for me, and I've confirmed it also works with a couple other people, part of the community here. So I do recommend giving it a shot. Hopefully it works for you. If you find any other way to make things work uh, in terms of the SIM Connect issue, go ahead and pop that down in chat. The other thing that I've done as well is I've edited the SIM Connect file. I'm going to show you how to do that next. The SIM Connect file can be located in your app data folder. So for me, it's my username, app data, roaming, Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. However it is, find your app data folder and you'll find your Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 uh, SIM Connect, that XML. You're going to open that in a notepad. And once you open that in a notepad, all you have to do is change where it says max clients. Now, by default, I think it's like 64 or something. I can't remember the exact number. By default, it's a different number. All you have to do is replace the max client with whatever you want. I'm using 768. So 768 here, 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 and then down below here for those other two. Easy way to do it is go to uh, edit and then replace, type in the amount. So whatever it is currently. So let's say it was uh, 64 change it to whatever you want to put. So 768 and replace all and that will replace them all for you. So you don't have to do them all manually. But again, this is just another thing that I found that seems to work between SIM Connect, Behind ATC, Moza Cockpit. So thanks for watching this video. Again, leave me some comments down below if you found any other ways to make it work. I'd love to hear your details and we'll see you for the next video. Take care.